so what we're looking at on the screen is this signal amplitude is about 80%, right? The gate tells me it is 80.2%. Now watch this. When I click on gain and I turn it down, it was 42, so I turn it down to 36. The signal amplitude drops exactly to 40%. That is half of it. Okay. Now, I drop six more dBs down. So when I drop six dBs down, it takes the signal height to half of the original. So now I'm going to drop six more dBs. So I take it down to 30, uh, 30 decibels. And it should go down to 20%. Okay. So every time I drop six dBs or if I add six dBs, it either double, it, it takes it to half or doubles. So this is the practical relevance to the math problems that we're going to look at right now. Okay, so let's look at the math problems for the decibels now. First one, consider this A scan display where the signal amplitude is initially 80% as we saw earlier. And then now it took it down to 40%. So that was 6 dBs less than the original value. Okay, consider a second example where the A scan display has a signal amplitude of 20% originally. And then I pump up the gain so that the percent goes to 80%. Then 20 to 40 is 6 dBs and 40 to 80 is another 6 dBs, which is total of 12 decibels difference. Okay, third example, um, consider the signal amplitude where originally it's 100% screen height. And then I bring it down to 10%. 100 to 50 is 6 dBs, 50 to 25, 25 to 12.5, 12.5 to 6.25. We missed 10, so this doesn't work. For these types of problems, there's a formula, which is 20 times the log of A2 or A1 by A2. So in this case, it becomes 20 times the log of the higher number 100% divided by lower number 10%. Okay, so 0 gets cancelled, log of 10, 20 times, log of 10 is 1, so 20 times 1 is 20. So 20 decibels is the difference. Alright, let's consider another example where the signal amplitude is initially 80%. And you take off 14 decibels, then what would be the final signal height? Okay, using the same formula, dB difference is 20 times the log of A1 by A2. Um, substitute the dB as 14 in this case, and then equals 20 times the log of higher number divided by the unknown. Okay, so divide both sides by 20. So you get 14 divided by 20 as 0.7. So you put that 0.7 equals log of 80 divided by A2. Now, in order to get rid of the log, you have to take anti-log on both the sides. And the way you use anti-log on calculator is by using 0.7 and then use that 10 to the power x function right next to the log. Click that and you get 5.011. So I round it off as 5. So let's put 5. Anti-log of 0.7 is 5. And anti-log of log cancels out. So what stays is just 80 divided by A2. Okay, now I want to know A2, so I multiply both sides by A2. And on the other side, it gets cancelled. Now I want to get rid of the 5 on the left-hand side, so I divide both sides by 5. So A2 equals 16. So the final amplitude height on the graph on the A scan is 16%. Okay, now let's give some 
sample problems to solve and you're going to write the answers in the comments below. First problem says 200% signal amplitude initially I bring it down to 50% how many dBs did I lose? Okay. How many decibels do I need to take off? Okay, consider another one where the A scan display shows you a signal amplitude of 15% and I add 24 decibels. So what would be my signal height eventually? Third problem is A scan amplitude showing you 160% full screen height. And the decibel that this height is 48 decibels. I turn those 48 down to 16. That means I lost um, 32 decibels, I believe. So what would be the final amplitude? And finally, number four, the signal amplitude initially is 10%. And I add 48 decibels. So what would be the final signal amplitude? Take another one. Fifth one. A scan display is showing you signal amplitude of 80, 800%. And the question is, you take off 25 decibels. What would be the final signal height? Okay, solve these five questions. And let me know the answers in the comments below.